walk through the garden Watch your back Well, I beg you Pardon, walk the straight and narrow track If you walk with Jesus Save your soul Gotta keep the devil Down in the room He's got fire and the fury To worry, hold on to Jesus, and we'll be safe from Satan when the thunder rolls. But you gotta keep the devil down in the hole. Oh, yeah, mm. we'll be safe from Satan. Good afternoon, Trinidad and Tobago, and thank you for staying with us. Thank you, Mr. McIntosh, for doing a fine job as usual. And this is I Independency right here on Talk City 91.1 FM. Good afternoon, Natasha. Good afternoon, Trinidad and Tobago. Welcome to I Independency. Happy Spiritual Baptist Liberation. Shout a Baptist Liberation. Shout a Baptist Liberation Day. Yes, it's easy to get that wrong, but it's a perfect day for a holiday like this. Brilliant sunshine. So I know there there's a gathering somewhere where everybody is out doing what they need to do on a day like this. And we appreciate you being with us this afternoon for this very special series. The start of a series we're calling Youth Speak Out. And we'll be hearing from young people. We always have a lot to say about them, but as our operator Vanessa who is also in studio with us this afternoon yes good afternoon as you well know we always have this conversation about youth but we never hear from youth so that's the objective of this series right and over over the course of the next month you'll be hearing from Paige Ribeiro she be, she's starting she's the opening bat so to speak this afternoon then we'll have EK Jessica Shona Che Kadisha and of course to culminate this whole series we plan to have and we got his consent already um, Roderick Chucky Gordon the reigning Calypso monarch of Trinidad and Tobago and the idea with that is these young ones don't attend Calypso tents at all they don't like not that they don't like but you know the Calypso to them is something very alien uh, in their neck of the woods and we'll try to find out why because we think it's it's the opportunity to bring them back to the, bring them to the calypso tents you know i would i did the broadcast with ruskin at kaisorama and i looked at the people entering that venue and um you know from there weren't any young people let me just say you know to be politically correct there weren't any young people at all i would know. have to correct you, you know guys because there were some young people behind me they were supporting the front brian london Brian London and others, yes. Yeah, there well, were some young people there. You know, say, don't say they would. They no, would Brian London normally walk with a scout. were <laughs> over the age of 50. Yes. From my estimation. And the, the young people who were there were supporting an artist. They didn't come to because they like Kaisorama. I have been to many <laughs> Kaisoramas, <laughs> and I'm telling you, and if you hear their take on Calypso, I think it's very interesting too for the Calypsonian to hear, you know, why, why some of them have lost interest mm -hmm. in Calypso. So. All that and, and a whole lot more, you're going to be hear their thoughts on peer pressure, bullying, and of course, substance abuse, which is the main component of our program. Their views on, on drugs in our society. And um, just on Thursday, I got wind of a situation at a school in the East where these young ones consuming codeine and cough syrup with, yeah, with, with codeine content. And one of the, the, the side effects of codeine is irritability. And it makes you wonder why some of them are so short-tempered mm. and rather fight and, and not negotiate. And um, codeine, if you check codeine, check it out yourself and see how harmful it is if it's overdone. And this is what they are using, some of them, 
their reasons to cope, to do this. So all I will find out from Paige and the crew what's really going on. With their crew of people, their age group of people, what it is we're missing, what it is we, we're just getting wrong. You know, so let's say good afternoon to Paige. Good afternoon. Let's say good afternoon, Paige. Hi, good afternoon, Trinidad and Tobago. And thank you for joining us. And let you know how mom is here with her too, as usual, picking away. Paige is the, the daughter of Wendy Ribeiro. And of course, she is, we call, um, she has her little uh, photography business going called mm -hmm. O-Snap. If you look at, if you happen to see our billboard in St. James, you would see that little sign called o, um, said O-Snap. And Wendy can be seen at various functions that we've had over the years. And she is basically our resident photographer. So we really want to thank her very much for giving Paige this opportunity to be here with us this afternoon. Anything before we go for a break, Natasha? No, I want to hear a little more from Paige before we go to a break. Really? Yeah. I, I understand she had a little more to say other than good afternoon, Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Iron Dependency for giving me such a great opportunity and an extension of Garth and Natasha because I do believe that this program will be very beneficial to all. And you know, it gives the youth an opportunity to voice their opinions because we're not very... Because we're not very... um Out there, exactly. on mainstream radio. And you know, everybody has this judgmental attitude towards the youth. And I mean, I'm here to voice my opinion on a very interesting topic, law and authority, and my views on this topic based on observations and also the views of my colleagues and the other youths of Trinidad and Tobago. That is fantastic. So you have a, a huge mantle on your shoulders. You are speaking on behalf of the youth. Yes, I which, am. Which um, is, is, a, is a mighty task indeed, but I mean, if once you keep it, keep it real, keep, keep it to your experience and your, um, your personal research, the message will get across. So, we're going to take a break. And before we do that, I want to thank all the other um, participants of the Youth Indeed. Speak Out series, their parents. Yes. You know, John and, and um, Ms. De Harper's and Jessica's, um, Shona's family, and all the others who gave their children permission to be here with us. We want to thank you very, very much. Or oh, there, I think Shona is showing up now. So, we're going to take a break. And when we return... Young Miss Paige Ribeiro will be in the hot seat. We'll be back.